guys, it's Hafei, I'm back again, and today I am going to be doing a Born Pretty review for you. I showed these products in one of my recent hauls. I'm actually going to do all three products in the same video, just to save some time and, yeah, keep them all together, instead of doing three really short videos. So the first one we're going to look at is this gel polish from Your Sugar, um, which is a newer brand to Born Pretty. This particular one is Starry Sky Gel UR03. Uh, this is a holographic glitter polish. Um, it's actually what I have on my thumbnail right here. Um, I'm going to show you how it goes on. So these are quite nice shaped bottles. I actually have quite a few gels in bottles that look just like this. Um, and what I have here on my swatchy wheel is I have a couple of coats of a really dark green. So I'm going to swatch it on that and I'm also going to swatch on one of these not base coloured ones just so you can see the uh, difference. Now like most polishes with lots of glitter, whether they be a gel polish or a regular polish. This is kind of thick. I have um, shaken this really, really well, but it is kind of thick and chunky. Um, this colour is kind of like a tealy, greeny, blue shade. Even though it goes on kind of thick and chunky, you do want to take the time to make sure that it is a thin, fairly even coat. Um, I have found that it sort of almost chunks up a little bit. Now the reason I'm showing you over a dark coloured base is just to show you, if you just use this as a topper over another polish, you can turn a plain cream into a holographic. So I'm just going to stick that in the lap um, and I'll be back when it's cured. Okay, so I'm going to add another coat to this nail here. As you can see, as with my thumbnail, you can make this pretty much completely opaque if you're really careful with your application in two thin coats. Um, I'm not going to put another coat on the other one. And I'll be back when it's cute. So I am going to top coat both of them. Um, what I found with this, even with top coat, it is slightly lumpy, like slightly bumpy. Um, so you might want to do two coats of top coat. But at the very least, you are you're going to need to top coat it, particularly if you don't like any kind of texture on the nail. And gel polish always lasts better if you do put a top coat. The top coat I'm using is in fact a Born Pretty one. It is a no white, no wipe top coat, which means that unlike the coloured polishes, it doesn't have a sticky dispersion layer. And I'll be back when I've cured. So there you have the Your Sugar Coloured Gel in Starry Sky Gel. Um, this is super gorgeous with the holographic sparkles in it. Lovely colour. There are other colours available. Of course, I will leave this linked on the Born Pretty website uh, down below. And we will move on to the next product. So the next product I'm looking at is another gel product. So this one comes in a little pot. I was interested in trying this one um, because the uh, Milk bath nails are super popular at the moment, which is a nail with basically flowers in it, but it looks like they're in a milky bath. Um, and I saw this one, and this is a flower fairy gel. 
um, this one is in uh, it says spring flower autumn month I'm not really sure what they mean by that um, but basically it is a clear gel um, with little flowery bits in it as you can see I have already used it I'll show you in just a moment um, as I've said to you before, gel can be really, really sticky. And because I turned this upside down, it has stuck to the foil. So these come completely sealed. And well, you can see it, but there are little bits of flour in there. Um, so I have it on this nail here. Um, there does seem to be a lot more gel than there are flowers, um, which made it a little difficult to apply and use. Um, but it still looks really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up. It's often a really good idea, like just as you would shake nail polish before using it to stir up pot gels before you use them because when they've been sitting for a little while they can separate slightly. Now this is quite a thick gel. It's always more the consistency of a builder gel than uh, most gel paints that I've used. So I have one here with a light bluish and then I've got a clear one or one that doesn't have anything next to it. So I'm just going to apply on both of them and as you can see there's quite a lot of gel coming out like clear base gel although it is ever so slightly tinted um, and not as many of the little flower bits And this is one of the problems I found with working with it, was that it is very thick. It does self-level if you give it a couple of moments to sit, um, but it is quite thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to put another layer on both of them. So I'm going to put another layer on. One thing to remember is when you're curing your gel, make sure that your gel product that you're not curing so like in the pot on your brush um, in the bottle whatever is not in the direct line of your lamp because it can be can start to be cured um, by your lamp even at a bit of a distance something to be aware of. And sometimes if you're having a bit of a problem with things leveling properly, just turn it upside down for a little bit. It usually helps them level a bit better. So we're just going to cure that and then we'll be back. While we're waiting for that to cure, I'm just going to show you how to clean your tools um, that have gel on them. Get yourself a lint-free wipe or a wipe of some sort and isopropyl alcohol and let's see, it just it wipes off so any stickiness that you get from any gel type products like if you get some on your fingers or whatever just clean it up with isopropyl alcohol and it will be good as new
Alrighty, I'm just going to top coat this again with Born Pretty's No Wipe top coat, which looks like that, in case you're wondering. I don't know if it's still in the same bottle, but that's the bottle that I have. Which is getting very low. I need some more. And I'm just going to kill that. So that is the Flower Fairy Gel from Born Pretty. It isn't my favourite product that I've ever used from their gel line. I just don't think there are enough flower bits in it. I mean, if you wanted to fiddle around and sort of pull more out, which is pretty much what I did with this, this nail here, um, you could... Uh, it just tends to end up looking a little bit thick on the nail because there's so much base and not very much of the flower. Um, but yeah, uh, once again, I will leave this product linked down below. It does come in other colours as well. So the next product, the third product that I will be reviewing is this stamping plate. This is L079. This is a marble rock finish stamping plate. I have already used it. This nail here was done using this plate. So what I am going to do today is I'm going to stamp four of the different stamps in four different colours on these four nails just to give you some idea of what you can do. Um, this nail here and the ones I did on my friend, I multi-stamped the nails. I'm only going to do a single stamp today. Um, and use some of the ones that I haven't used. I've used these two here quite a bit. Um, and I've used this one and this one. This one here and this one here. So I'm going to use some of the ones that I haven't used before today. Um, I'm going to re-clean the stamp, even the stamping plate, even though I've already cleaned it. Um, they do get finger marks and stuff on them. Um, so I think I'm going to start with a black polish and I think I'm going to use this image here so I have my damper and I have my scraper which is grotty as but that's because I use it not only as a stamper, a scraper app, but also as a palette So what I do is I apply the paint polish on one side of this, the image and then I scrape across. I normally work in the other direction. I'm doing this more for you guys. Then roll the stamper over it picks up the image. And then work out where on the finger I want to put it. And press straight down. And then lift up. The longer you leave it on the stamper before you put it on the finger, the more likely it is that it will not transfer onto your finger. Now the polish is on my skin. Getting a piece of scotch tape, um, sellotape whatever they call it in your country, sticky tape, and just go around the skin and it will pick up the majority of any excess polish that got on your skin. You don't need to use nail polish remover or acetone to do that. 
Um, you might need to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards, but that is the quickest and most effective way. Um, so that is that image. It's kind of an interesting broken rock kind of image. Um, it didn't pick up 100% perfectly, but that's because I was diddling around a little bit. To clean my stamper, this is a lint roller of the type that you use for clothing. You need to get pet hair off your clothes or your furniture. And it is literally all I use. I just press the stamper onto that and it picks up any excess paint or polish that was on the stamper. Don't want to use any other products on your stamper other than hot soapy water, or warm soapy water, and maybe a um, um, alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol. Wow, my brain stopped working for a second there. <laughs> Alright, on the next nail, I'm actually going to use a polish that is very similar in colour to my actual nails. This I reviewed in my last Bomb Pretty. This is Pomegranate Red. And I just want to see what would happen if you used a polish that is very similar in colour. I'm going to use this image right here. So again, this time I'm going to work the way I normally do. So, on one side, scrape across the image, roll, pick up the image, and then press straight down on the nail. Now, it's pretty hard to see at this point, but it just gives you a very subtle striation. So again, piece of sellotape, masking tape, anything that's sticky will work. Just use that to clean up the worst of the nail polish that's on your skin. You can also use the sticky tape to get it off your stamper, if that's what you want to do. Because um, that's basically what a lint roller is. I just use the lint roller because it's easier um, and it's bigger. That's really the only reason I use it. Remember to put lids back on things. the stamper. I am using 100% acetone to clean my stamping plate. You could use nail polish as well. Uh, nail polish remover as well. It'll work. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this image right here. And some um, gold Born Pretty stamping polish. These are all Born Pretty stamping polishes that I'm using today. to remember when trying to stamp is to be gentle. So gently scrape over. Don't push down too hard when you're scraping over the stamping plate. Um, just, just be gentle with it. So, that's that one. I really like how that one turned out. So again, piece of sticky tape to get the worst of that polish off. Do up your bottle.
And lastly, because as you can see, this nail here, I've lost some polish off the corner. I only put this polish on this morning. It's only one coat. Um, but I did someone's nails this morning and I've used acetone quite a bit today. Um, so sometimes it comes off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this one here, which is a, um, it's like a negative image. So instead of these ones, which you're just getting little lines, this one here is very much the other way around. So you'll only see a little bit of your base color come through. I'm not sure how well it's going to work with this uh, silver hollow, which is a fabulous stamping polish, um, which did not get enough of on these. Some people paint the whole image. I generally don't because I found it works better for me to do it the other way. I get a more even distribution. So I'm just going to push down on the nail. Now you can barely see where I lost some polish. It's an interesting look. Again, clear up as much of the excess as possible. a systematic thing once you get the hang of it. And then I am going to apply a coat of quick dry top coat. This happens to be Phoebe Moon's non-scented um, let's go quick dry top coat because that's what I have near me. Normally I use Sesvit but I'm trying this out. I really like her brush. A little tiny bit of streaking there but that's more my fault than anything else. If you make sure you've got a good bead of polish on the brush and you kind of float the brush down the nail, you're much less likely to get this kind of smearing. Um, some people don't recommend using a quick dry top coat because it tends to smear more than other polishes, like other top coats do. However, if you do it properly, you can use a top coat, a quick dry top coat. But as you can see, you do need to be careful. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tidy up because there is a little bit of polish on my skin. And yes, I am using acetone. So you'll see my skin go a kind of chalky white colour as it gets completely dehydrated by the acetone. Which is why if you can find ways of not using acetone unless absolutely necessary, I would recommend. And making sure that you uh, wash your hands thoroughly and put cream on afterwards. So that is a quick look at the Born Pretty stamping plate which is L079. I think it's one of the Hara, Hara 2 I think it's called. 
Um, I really like this stamping plate. Marble nails can be really difficult, um, or stone finish f nails can be really difficult to do. Um, so this is a great way to cheat at it, basically, <laughs> and have it work a little bit more successfully. And the fact that there are different types of images is actually really good. It gives you some different options on um, looks to your nails. I really like how this nail here, the gold one, looks. I think that looks really cool. And I love the subtle nature of this one here, where it's very subtle but gorgeous at the same time. Yeah, so very impressed with that particular stamping plate. Um, of course I will leave it linked down below so you can go and get it if you want to. Don't forget that if you use my code HALFX31 on Born Pretty on full priced items you will save 10%. Um, Thank you again to Born Pretty for sending these three items for me to review. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, click the bell down the bottom or the one that ends up on the screen with my end plate. Leave me a thumbs up if you like review and nail arty type videos and leave me a comment down below. I will attempt to at least like it if not actually answer any questions that you have and i will see you in my next video see ya